The Sammy D Foundation has a range of evidence and forms primary prevention education programs. The Monkey See Monkey Do program is a workshop that follows on from our violence prevention presentation program, Impact. It was developed after a series of inappropriate incidents that occurred across junior sports within South Australia. It's designed to stamp out inappropriate sideline behaviour and to support all adults within sporting clubs to be a positive role model for young people playing that sport. I've seen negative behaviour by, I guess, people yelling out abuse from the sidelines. Not so much at kids, but more at the adult level. The inappropriate sideline behaviour um, has a huge of negative effect on kids that I've seen playing uh, junior sport in Sanford Juniors in a way that it stops them playing, playing football um, to hear the constant abuse on the sidelines. So I've seen it firsthand where, like I say, kids go out there to have fun and some poor behaviour off the field discourages the kids from coming back. So that's where you lose kids to team sports. I don't like it when people on the sidelines are rude or they're yelling or swearing at their kids. I also don't like it when people talk down about females in footy because it was like a while ago, it was a male sport, but now there's females in the game as well. I don't feel great when people talk to their kids in wrong ways by coaching them and telling them what to do. I feel sad when people are booing and people are yelling at me for doing something wrong. People like pay me out if I drop a mark or don't kick the goal. The Monkey See, Monkey Do program provides education and tools for parents to be more positive um, on the sidelines with their behaviour. I think it's important because it educates the parents, educates the kids, and obviously that's a positive reinforcement of what they should be doing on and off the field. And if we can keep the kids and the parents involved as much as they possibly can from club level, it's fantastic. I think it's really important that we see a change of behaviour and I think that not only comes by people owning actions and what they can do better, I think it comes from educating the next generation. So talking about it, number one, and then I think you can see a change of behaviour and that's what Sammy D Foundation does, is that it, it really promotes, I guess, that presence and that interaction which I think then promotes change. Yeah, we've seen um, some significant improvement in sideline behaviour since we've done the program. Um, in fact, we've had a number of parents speak about it, um, being hyper aware of the, their actions and their conversations. Um, and those conversations between those parents have been brought up with um, other members of, of the club, so that's been um, an exceptionally positive outcome. Um, so since we've had the SEMI-D presentation at the club and we've had a SEMI-D round, I think there's been more of awareness of what parents and spectators need to do in uh, pre demonstrating appropriate side like behaviour while watching their children's sport. Sammy D's been doing some great work in, in encouraging kids to play team sports and get involved in clubs and get involved in the community. Um, so for SA Power Networks to sponsor that is a great initiative and something I'm very proud of. The key message I took away from the Monkey See, Monkey Do presentation is so if you're going to have a conversation with your children after a game of sport, to make sure you do it in the right environment. You know, doing it in the car on the way home is certainly not the place. They need to be able to have the space to be able to move away from that conversation if they're not comfortable. What I learnt from the Sammy D Foundation is I just got to think before I act and call my jets and just enjoy what I'm, what I'm out there to do. The more we continue to, to challenge each other and, and want to get better as a community um, is, real, is where we're going to see the real change. Thank you.